Hello everybody, it's Mark Houston with Home Slice Media here at the 82nd Sturgis Motorcycle Rally and joining me this afternoon, Nate Botsford. Nice to have you back, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm so glad. I know I got to talk to you a little bit last year. Yeah. It was your first year at the rally here last year, last wasn't it? Last year was our first, yeah. Okay. Have you have you ever been out here before or even never this well you're from Oregon. Yeah, we've been to Wyoming, but that's about the farthest we've been. See, you should have you should have kept going. I know, get out here. I know. We're <laughs> well, late to the game. Wyoming's a good crowd, though, for you. I mean, for you and what you do, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's fun. We normally just go to Jackson Hole. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're. I wish we would have would have would have done this sooner. But <laughs> <laughs> well, did you did you have the opportunity, or was this how did it come about last year for you guys to get out here? Uh, no, we we ended up meeting uh, Shane Funk, who coordinates all the bands here in in Nashville, I right. think. And we just connected with him, and he gave us a shot last year to, you know, be the new guys in town. Okay. And so, how long have you been doing this, then, Nate? I've been doing it full time for. Uh, I'm 35, 36 now, and I've been doing it full time since I was 21. And it's day four at the rally, so everything is muddled. I know. Uh, <laughs> so, did you have? Uh, uh, I mean, growing up was. Was, was music a big part of your family? Was there a lot of it in your family? Or how did you get the bug for it? Yeah, some, both of my grandpas actually were piano players and my, my mom's dad was a, a, band, uh, a band guy. And right. I just grew up watching them play piano. And when I was probably three, I, we had this old popcorn maker and I put a bunch of rubber bands, different sizes on it and tied a belt around and did a little concert for my family. <laughs> Um, and I just got hooked, man. I started playing piano when I was five and then started writing when I was 13. Have you been able to do this full time? Yeah, I'm super fortunate. And that is, yeah. We were able to push through the last two years. and Boy, was it, was it as difficult? God, I don't, think I, I don't think anybody said, oh no, it was an easy time to be an artist. But the last two years had to have been. What did, what did you do during that downtime? I mean, yeah. Songwriting and... Yeah, so you know, 2020 hit, and, and our entire year got canceled, obviously, right. which happened to every artist I know. Um, and we just decided, you know, we're not going to quit. We're going to get creative. And so I started doing Facebook Live shows. Um, and, I, and it was just tips only. You know, people can Venmo me, Cash App. And I was, just, it was super encouraging to see how much people miss live music. Oh, I think when it came back and it was finally eased a little bit, Watching that explosion of, of just people going out to yeah. any live show was yeah. amazing. Did you see a big resurgence in that coming back too when you hit the I road? I did in that, and then also like in 2020, we we got the idea to start doing sidewalk shows, and so I was I was doing probably 12 to 14 of them a week, just hour long, and people could sit in their driveway, sit as far away from whoever as they wanted, and uh, man, just the. You get to see how much people craved it after it got ripped away. And then being on the road again, it's just such a cool response from everyone. Well, and playing out here, too, I mean, you get, you know, you get the built-in good crowds. And oh, just people yeah. People are starving for that. And, you know, I, I, I point out usually when, when I get to do these interviews with you guys is, you know, a lot of people come for the motorcycles and the bikes because that's the thing. But yeah. They don't realize that this is one of the nation's largest music festivals as well it is and you know to get people to drawn into this to see to see every kind of genre that gets played here yeah. uh and i would you know your your style is more uh along uh, the country music style mm -hmm. you have your own originals too yeah. uh, i know we were playing uh was it what'd you have out last year uh it might have been buzzing buzzing was the one yeah. yeah that was it great song and we yeah. put it on while you guys were out here and we got yeah. requests for it and people were like you know who is this guy and I think that's that's what you're hoping for is to get oh, yeah. all these people. Yeah. So what do you have for uh, for new stuff coming out now, Nate? What's what's in the pipeline for you? Um, we just released our newest single, Church on Sunday, and uh, we have about six in the pipeline right now that we're recording. Okay. Um, and just trying to bust them out, record them, get them out to the out to the people. Now, what part of Oregon are you from? Um, I live in Oregon City, okay. which is like outskirts of, of Portland, right. just a little suburb sure um, is it as is it as still as, as weird as everybody thinks it is around portland <laughs> is, um, is oregon city kind of the same way <laughs> it's never been as bad as people think <laughs> right uh, which is it's been so funny like i mean obviously it was horrible for a while yeah. but it was really just contained to like one little small part of portland um 
But yeah, I mean, it's man, where I am, you you wouldn't even wouldn't well, even know. Is 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 country music a big deal in that part of in that part of the? You know, you don't really think of the Pacific Northwest as a lot of um, you know country coming out of it. Really, yeah. is it? Are you seeing it grow, or is it still kind of a niche thing there for you guys? I'm definitely seeing it grow, like especially where I live. The next town over can be. I mean, it's just, it's all rodeos, it's all cowboys and country music. And, really? Okay. Um, yeah, people people really do. I mean, it's, it's nothing like Texas or Nashville right. or South Dakota, but um, yeah, there's there's a big a big niche for country over there, which is cool, encouraging, you know, to me yeah. as a country artist. Do you, uh, do you ever have a desire to move to Nashville or Texas, or, or do you, I mean, are you happy with what you're doing? I might move to Nashville. Mm-hmm. It's... Right now, I'm there like probably every every six to eight weeks to write and record and that was going to be my next people. question. Yeah, do you, yeah. Do you have songwriters down there that you work with? I do. Okay. I'm you know slowly building like a circle of guys that you know I know I work well with. Um, I just man, I got such a great band in Oregon, and and we love doing the tour stuff like this. And well, yeah, you guys, you guys, I mean, you guys seem like you you have been playing well. I mean, a while together. You know, you just have yeah. that that cohesiveness. That's fun to watch when everybody knows exactly what they're doing. Yeah, you know, and uh, I, it's it's. How long are you going to be here then through through the rest of the rally? Uh, we're here till off? Wednesday. Ah, damn it. Okay. On uh, <laughs> yeah, then we then we take off. We'll probably try next year to plan it a little differently. We got a big gig back in Oregon on Friday that okay. we couldn't couldn't not do. All right. Well, I've been making you hold this whiskey long enough. I don't know why we haven't been drinking it this whole time. I don't know. I'm excited. You, for you it. said you have never you haven't had this before. Have you ever had single barrel Jack? Just standalone. I mean, any single barrel. I think I yes. Okay. Well, this is uh, the Loud American picks a barrel every year, and it was kind of touch and go to get it here for us. That just rolled in yesterday morning. So there's only been a few bottles that have been opened, and you'll be one of the first to get uh, a I'm and get a taste of it here. So tell me what you think, man. That's really good. It's it's. Wow, it's that my is, first taste too. That is really, really good, and I'm a whiskey guy. I, I am all about the whiskey. There's a lot of flavor there. Holy cow, they did a good That's job. That's amazing. That well, would you have a favorite? Do you have a whiskey that you generally go to all the time? I usually go for Buffalo Trace or Basil Hayden's, oh, kind of just call. like my standard. They're not not too spendy. And but we, this is, <laughs> and I'm, my, I have a sponsor back in Oregon of. Easy Rider whiskey, right? And that's really good for the price point. Is it made out there? Is it distilled out there? It is. It's out. Uh, yeah, it's kind of out near the Dalles. Okay. Um, but yeah, they they've been my sponsor this year and last year, and it's for the price point for a bottle. It's it's oh, pretty dang good. Get my hands on some of that. But this <laughs> is this is freaking great. Well, you mentioned uh, Basil Hayden's. Do you have you had their toast? Yeah, that is. Probably in my top ten right now. Yeah. For they got it figured out. <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh, well, Nate, I'm so glad you sat down and talked with me here for a few minutes. And I know you got a show here. Uh, well, coming up this afternoon again and tomorrow, and then you you yeah. will be playing Wednesday before you head out again. Uh, we're playing Wednesday in Spearfish. In Spearfish, okay. Yeah. Well, you've kind of been bouncing back and forth a little bit there, haven't you? For this, we have. Yeah, they called us last minute, and they had a band back out, so we've been okay bouncing back and forth out to Spearfish. Canyon Resort, yep, I think. Yep. Yeah, think beautiful that, spot. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, so where can, you know, I'm assuming we can get your music in all the usual places right now. Yeah, Spotify, Apple Music, okay. all of those places. Which one is uh, which one do you get the best return from? Uh, Spotify is what okay. we're pushing. Excellent. You yeah. guys have, uh, like, CDs, or you guys ever do albums, too? Have you ever gone to the, to the vinyl yet? And, uh, uh, I have two cool albums album? out. Okay. Um, and then right now we're kind of just... With how saturated the industry is with right. music, we're just doing like a single, you know, trying to do a single every six weeks or so, okay. and then add a few new ones and combine it into an album at the end of it, you Perfect. know, just to stay in front of everybody. All right, it's Nate Botsford. You can find him, like I said, on Spotify and Apple Music, and if you get a chance to get up here before, well, before tomorrow night, I guess, or you can go to Spearfish. I mean, it's not not far away. Yeah. Like I said, it's a nice drive. It's Spearfish Canyon. You're all familiar with it. Uh, go out and uh, and check him out. I guarantee you're going to have a wonderful night. Uh, you got a great sound. Your original Thanks, stuff man. is amazing, and your covers are really good. Thank you. <laughs> really, really good. So check him out. It's Nate Botsford. We're live at the 82nd Sturgis Motorcycle Rally at Home Slice Media. Thanks, Nate. Dude, thanks for having me. Yeah.